Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to do uh, three book reviews. And the three books have one thing in common in that they're all published by the same small press. And this is called Wakefield Press. It's a independent press. So Wakefield Press prints translations of overlooked gems and literary oddities. So the three books I have here there's um, two by Henri de Balzac and one by Hugo Ball. So the first one is um, Tertiz on Modern Stimulants and this is by Henri de Balzac. One thing I want to say about the books that they publish, they're very well put together. They have some illustrations, um, great paper, fonts. The quality is excellent and they're all printed in the United States of America. The treatise on modern stimulants. So Balzac does alcohol, coffee, tobacco, and conclusions. Some of these things that were important, you know, 200 years ago, they're still talking about them today. You know, a lot of people dismiss history, but so many of the things that they were doing 200 years ago or whenever, they're still doing today, and I find that fascinating. And so it's really a readable book. He talks about how these stimulants affect the body. He's such a great writer. He conveys what he's thinking and feeling. Oh, and one of the other things I want to mention was if you search Balzac on YouTube right now, you're probably going to come up with um, one of the top results is going to be this short video by The New Yorker. And there's this myth that he consumed 50 cups of coffee per day. One of the things that comes out in this book is that the um, editor says that they have the records of, for... Balzac's home and so they did the calculations for how much coffee he was buying and how much coffee that would be produced per day and it turns out if you do the math it's really only like 15 cups of coffee per day and I've always thought that was impossible to have um, you know 50 cups of coffee a day. I love coffee and I can stand like four cups a day and after that I just start to feel sick. So, I mean, I was kind of, 15 is more reasonable, but 50 is just so outrageous, you know, it doesn't make sense. The second one, another one by Balzac, is The Physiology of the Employee. So this is really a great book. It, the French bureaucracy is known for its, um, for frustrating people and being convoluted and slow. You know, the people who work there, they work at their own pace because their jobs are so secure. The, the, you know, when he's writing this book, it's pretty, you know, it's a pretty, it's got some su substance to it. And yet he, it, it, there's a, this kind of, all these, there's, a, there's this overall contempt for all these employees. But he meticulously goes through all these positions, you know, the head of the department, the intern, the, the clerks, the, um, the office boy, the pensioner, or... You know, he goes through all of these things very succinctly. He really divides it up to the different types of personalities and, and how this all works. And it's very, very funny. I mean, this guy, this is very funny. One of the things I, I mean, he's stereotyping people. And that can be very funny when that's done well. Uh, it really made me think of a comedian in our times named George Carlin, the way he stereotyped the aspects of our society. And um, this is just... Very amusing, very perceptive, and really enjoyable. If you've ever felt frustration in dealing with bureaucracies, whether wherever it is, that um, you're going to you're going to be amused by this. He has some he has some axioms here, and I'm going to read a few of them. There's a thin line between the need to define and the danger of getting confused. Where there's a till, there's some pay. A personal secretary is a friend that the government gives you. I like this one about a report because you got to, there's always reports in these kind of institutions. A report is a deferment and is only occasionally a contribution. The third one is called Flametti. Now, this one is by Hugo Ball. He's a Dottist. 
And I am interested in Dadism. I have at least five books on Dadism and some of the people involved in it. Hugo Ball was one of the original Dadists. And this novel is about a kind of a vaudevillian, uh, about Flametti is a, is a man who has a small vaudeville show. And so he has these actors, he has these performers. So it's kind of his life and what's going on. You know, they're always, they just, they just kind of go from show to show. They, they're, they're trying to outrun poverty. They're trying to outrun the police. He has problems with all the people in his unit, in, in his show. You know, there's jealousies. It's kind of dysfunctional. It's just kind of an insight through the mind of a Dottist and this, these kind of, uh, the, the lives of these people. And as the Wakefield Press says, it's a, it's a literary oddity. You know, a lot of times where um, these don't get um, translated into English. And I kind of think it's interesting. Because Wakefield Press is, has a good taste and they're finding these oddities they're, and they're translating them and publishing them. So that's the, um, that's, the, uh, that's the video. Like I said, the best one is The Physiology of the Employee. If you just have to buy one, I recommend this. But look at their website. You might find some other authors that you like. And I'm going to be watching them for future um, publications. That wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching.